Hi, this is David Gaffney from Informatica Professional Services. Today, we're gonna to talk through some ideas about how to break down a business problem into the component data that makes it up. In this example, we are gonna do an insurance, uh, property casualty insurance context. The idea is really understanding the business outcome we're going for, the business problem that's getting in the way of solving it, and then the data behind it, the critical data elements, the systems, the data sets, the technical components that make it up. We'll also look at the key performance indicators, metrics, and other rules and policies that may affect it as well. Building out a map like this helps you get a good understanding of how to implement and solve the problem in the Informatica platform, looking at tools like Axon, EDC, data quality, DPM, et cetera. So if we start with the business outcome, as a property casualty insurance company, you might be looking at something like improved claims adjudication, prioritization strategies, and so on for disputed, undisputed claims. This is the outcome we're looking at so that we can have better customer retention and uh, keep people happy, but also be able to process uh, for ourselves, um, process the data better and be more efficient. The problem that might be getting in the way of this is customers having trouble uh, determining their status, trying to figure out who to contact next to resolve a claim, um, maybe it's difficult to automate the process because we don't have a good understanding of where all the information lives. The data behind this then is most likely going to be components of your property, your uh, policy record, your claims record, um, maybe an agent information system or a call center if you're handling this over the phone or, uh, or online. These are all areas that you'd probably be capturing the information that is going to support the business problem. So if we look at where that information lives, maybe in a system like a guide wire policy management application, could be in a claims management application, could be in your customer service reps, uh, the, the call center app that they use, maybe a content management application where you've got um, images that were taken at the scene of the accident, or maybe the, um, you know, a, a form, a police report, things like that that were scanned in. These are all components of data that support and help you solve this business problem. Now we're doing an insurance example here, but you could have you know, similar flow for you know, capturing a metrics dashboard for healthcare uh, or similar. So it is, it is a portable application that you can you know, think about how you're doing this. The data behind this is going to include these now getting to lower level components of the header for the policy, policy details, so maybe your deductible amounts, things like that claims header and details. So this would be details about uh, when the incident happened, um, who the other party was or parties, uh, you know, was there a police report? What were the, the claims, maybe an estimate from a repair shop? All of these things would feed into how you're going to solve this claim for this customer. You need to have this information on hand so that you can respond to the claim and also keep, help them keep track of where it is in the process. You get down to the lower level attributes then. So claim type, this may be a code, this may be a set of controlled values. You could have a claim amount for the um, repairs on your car, the other cars, et cetera. Um, when it happened, when you first contacted or maybe subsequent calls to the call center, how long you were on that call. And then maybe after the fact, a survey response asking about how did we do? And this would feed back to this better customer retention. So you wanna be able to capture this information all the way along. Probably in your systems, you're going to have movement of data, maybe from the, the policy system and the claim system into the CSR application, maybe finally into a dashboard, a business intelligence dashboard, where you're looking at how well you've responded to that claim. So all of these are gonna come into play and in something you might want to model in an EDC lineage and then applying axon data and policy to it on top of that. Some of the KPIs that are also driven by this and supported by these same attributes would be how long it took you to respond to this claim, um, this customer satisfaction number that you're getting back um, as the process goes on, how much of this can you automate? So there may be certain types of claims where you can run it straight through <clears throat> without human intervention. So a small, you know, single car accident with no injuries, that can be a, a quick and easy one. In other cases, there may be, may be multiple parties involved, there may be a police report or hospital records. These things might require 
routing to a more experienced claims agent. So all of these things are gonna play into the way you respond. Some of the metrics that are gonna be driven by these would be, let's say we wanna route 80% of these to a, you know, AI focused resolution systems so that can be processed very quickly. You wanna maintain a customer satisfaction level of you know, four and a half out of five or better. And so you'd wanna be able to monitor this as data that's feeding this process. Maybe looking at a cycle time reduction. So let's say you know, in December, <clears throat> we process, a, you know, it takes seven days and then January, that same kind of claim only takes five. So that may be an improvement we're looking for over the long term. Then you're looking at the rules of, that are mapped behind this. So it might be a policy rule. You might have personal data in here, you know, dealing with policies and claims. You may have HIPAA related data if there's a medical claim. All of these things would feed into rules and policy that would map back to the attributes. We also want to look at quality rules like, um, you know, do all the claim types, <clears throat> are they fitting into the controlled vocabulary or do we have outliers or maybe lost data as we pass it through the process? So in looking through this whole effort, the key thing we'll wanna do is understand all the components that make up this business use case and critically the people behind it as well. So you would have data stewards, you would have technical stewards. These are the people that are experts in their various systems that can provide you information about what kind of business glossary we need to create, what kind of data quality rules to build and so on. So this is a pretty handy method for decomposing a business use case to be able to support implementation in governance products like Informatica. Thank you.